For a very long time, Apple users assumed their devices were untouchable when it came to cyber threats. But not anymore. Recent attacks are causing some concern. Better Call Harry talks to our partners at Consumer Reports. I have two iPhones that I purchased from the AT&T store, and I love them. One for me, one for my daughter. I never thought about adding security on the phone because, you know, it's Apple. Well, our partners at Consumer Reports say that is something you need to think about. Mark Doherty has been an Apple user for years. I've always thought Apple products were safer. That's why I went with them to begin with. But tech experts say that all connected tech carries some level of risk. In fact, over the past year, Apple has rolled out a slew of software updates to fix flaws and even some critical vulnerabilities including at least one that could have left Apple users susceptible to dangerous malware had the patch not been installed. Don't ignore operating system and app updates. This is where known security flaws are fixed, but it's up to you to install them. To make sure your iPhone or iPad is up to date, go to Settings, General, Software Update. On a Mac computer, go to Launchpad. System Preferences Software Update. And if your device isn't getting OS updates because it's too old, it's time to replace it. CR says you should also be aware of phishing attempts. It's one of the more common ways hackers get the goods. Most of the time, cyber criminals can only get access to your device if you give them a way in, say by clicking on a malicious link or an attachment in an email or even a social media post. And if you think Apple products don't need antivirus software, think again. CR recommends AVG Antivirus for Mac. Testers found free software, easy to use, and especially good at shielding online threats. On your iPhone, antivirus software can do things like block malicious websites, calls, and texts. But because of Apple's security restrictions, antivirus software can't scan iPhones for viruses. I know what some of you are saying. Harry, I don't have an iPhone. Even if you don't have an iPhone, you still need to have security and you need to stop using the same password for everything and get yourself a password manager. I'm Better Call Harry with your Consumer Reports.